analysis of fixed beams. by consistent deformation method. So fixed beam is a beam which has two fixed supports at its ends like this and it can be subjected to any loads now here we can do analysis using two considerations first one is we can consider the beam to be axially rigid and we can also consider the beam to be axially not rigid so for all analysis purpose and design purposes we consider that our beams are axially rigid so here we ignore horizontal reactions and displacements we ignore the horizontal forces uh, whereas in axially not rigid beams the horizontal forces have to be considered so I will be focusing on axially rigid beams so you know when we are dealing with axially rigid beams at fixed supports we will have one vertical reaction and one moment similarly the other fixed support we will have one vertical reaction and one moment so let us call this vertical reaction as VA or reaction A that is RA and moment is taken as MA. Similarly at support B we will have vertical reaction B that is VB or it can be written as reaction at B RB and the moment is written as MB. And usually the span is given as length say L and flexural rigidity is given as EI so this is fixed beam now if you look at the total number of unknowns here so number of unknowns for an axially rigid fixed beam will be four that is VA VB MA and MB and the available equations that is a static equilibrium equations for us in case of axially rigid fixed beam will be 2 that is summation v equal to 0 and summation m equal to 0 we are not considering horizontal because it is axially rigid so we have two available equations whereas four unknowns so there will be some excess unknowns okay which in this case will be 4 minus 2 that is 2 so we have two excess unknowns here in fixed beams and uh, these two unknowns can these two excess unknowns can also be called as redundants right that means they are extra unknowns now uh, to solve fixed beams we need to have two additional equations because we have two redundants or two extra unknowns and those two additional equations are called two compatibility equations so i can say two compatibility equations in addition to summation v equal to 0 and summation m equal to 0 are required for solving fixed beams right now these two compatibility equations are given as the first one 
being slope due to loads plus slope due to redundance is equal to zero so this is the first compatibility equation and we know from moment area theorems that is from more theorem one theta is written as area of bmd divided by er yeah. okay so this is one of the compatibility equations that we can use the other compatibility equation is deflection due to loads plus deflection due to redundance is equal to total displacement that is in the form of sinking or rising and if there is no sinking or rising this value can be considered as zero so this is the second compatibility equation where delta that is deflection can be written as area of bmd divided by ei multiplied by centroidal distance which we have already seen in propped cantilever beams so these are the two equations which we will be using for solving fixed beams now here if you look at the steps to be followed to solve fixed beams so here the first step is we have to choose the redundants so here in this step we know that in a fixed beam we have four reactions that is if i take these ends as a b i have r a r b and i can have m a and m b so out of these four reactions you can choose the redundants and because we have two extra unknowns we have to choose two redundants so you can either choose r a and m a as redundants or you can choose r b and m b as redundants so if i choose r b and m b as redundants then my fixed beam reduces to a beam like this so this is r b and this is m b right so it reduces to a cantilever beam with a vertical reaction at free end and a moment at free end so this is a first step first step where we are choosing the redundants and usually we are considering one vertical reaction and one moment at either of the supports as redundants that is the first step and the second step is we have to draw the free bending moment diagrams considering loads and redundants so this step i'll be explaining with some examples in subsequent videos and then the third step is you apply the equations that is uh, compatibility equation 1 and 2 that is theta due to loads plus theta due to redundance is equal to 0 and 
delta due to loads plus delta due to redundants is equal to total settlement so apply these two equally uh, these two compatibility equations to find uh, the values of the redundants and once you know the redundants you can calculate support reactions and bending moments at various points and then the last step is you can draw the shear force diagram bending moment diagram and elastic curve so these are the simple steps i will be solving some examples in subsequent videos so keep following.